If you want to get your Strava data into QGIS, this is how to do it. Go to the page for an activity, in this case, a bike ride that I did, and scroll down until you see the map. And then on the map, you'll see this GPX button where you can download the data. So just click on that button and choose where to save the file to. I'll stick it in my files folder and hit save. And now I'll switch to QGIS. I'm in QGIS now and I've got a blank project. So what I'll do is I'll just add the data via the data source manager button and I'll browse to the folder where the file is. In this case, it was a file called lovely evening underscore GPX. I'll click open and then add. At this point, you'll see loads of different files, but don't worry, you can just click on add layers and then close. And here you can sort of unpick it. You can turn things on and off to see which ones are the data points. So in this case, it was a bike ride, lovely evening it's called, and tracks. That's the file with the root data. If I want to see backdrop mapping, I'll just go to the browser, XYZ tiles, and I'll double click open street map, which adds on top. So I'll just drag it below. And then what I'll do is I'll go down to the bottom right of the QGIS window, and I'll just change the projection on the coordinate reference system to this pseudo Mercator 3857. If you don't see it, you can just type in 3857 into the search box and choose the projection there and click OK. And let me just zoom in a little bit. I'll double click the layer. I'll change its thickness. And there we go. You'll also see the track points that get recorded. And sometimes the other layers, like I said, won't have anything in them. So that's how you can get data very quickly from a GPX file that you can download from Strava into QGIS.